It's Monday, November 13th, and somebody finally tricked Apple's Face ID security tech, but let's just say it wasn't easy or pretty. Apple claimed the tech couldn't be fooled by photos or masks, but a cybersecurity firm in Vietnam says this mask was able to trick the phone into unlocking. They also said they've been working on the project since they got their iPhone 10 a week ago. The mask is a copy of the face of an employee seen in the video unlocking the phone. The company says the mask cost about $150 in materials and involves a complicated mix of 3D printed parts, 2D images, makeup, and apparently a lot of scotch tape. The company said there was some special processing done on the cheeks and around the face, but no specifics on what was so special about it were released. Of course, it was only a matter of time before someone cracked Face ID, but seeing how much effort went into this, we think most iPhone 10 users are probably still safe from having their faces quickly spoofed, unless you're famous enough to be in a wax museum or something. Speaking of the iPhone 10, sales numbers are starting to take shape and it looks like a major hit for Apple, but that's apparently causing two problems. According to BGR, Apple is scrambling to pump up iPhone 10 production by perhaps as much as 45% in light of the heavy demand. But it appears that heavy demand is coming at the expense of another phone, the iPhone 8. BGR said Apple tech watcher KGI Securities is forecasting a serious production cut for the 8 for the first quarter next year, maybe as much as 60%. However, demand for the larger 8 Plus iPhone is actually a bit above forecasts. Of course, Apple is hardly complaining that they may have to cut production of the cheaper iPhone in order to pump up the assembly lines for the $1,000 a pop model. So if you had your eye on upgrading to the iPhone 8, you might want to make it happen sooner than later. It's starting to look like the $1,000 smartphone is going to be the new standard. The game clock is ticking down on gas-powered cars as electric vehicle sales continue to increase and car makers plan for an all-electric future. But don't tell that to the folks that make the Corvette. Just in case the latest 650 horsepower land missile wasn't spicy enough for you, Chevy just reintroduced the ZR1 variant, which last hit showrooms in 2009. Typically representing the pinnacle of price and performance in the Corvette line, the ZR1 returns packing a supercharged V8 capable of making 755 horsepower and 715 foot-pound of torque. Chevrolet just rolled out the car for the first time in Dubai, where it will likely find a home as a police car. No joke. Anyway, the car will reportedly go 210 miles an hour for a top speed and do 0 to 60 in well under 3 seconds. There will be a couple of options for a fixed or active rear wing, and while no price was announced, it'll probably top 100 grand, which is still nearly half the cost of even the least expensive name brand supercars out there. And yes, you can get it in that orange. We've got more car news over at digitaltrends.com as well as our Facebook page and YouTube channel. Be sure to check out all of our podcasts on iTunes or wherever you get yours. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.